www.mwadetmwadet.com. As we suspected, as long as the bank Nifty continues to hold above that 69.1 threshold, one can continue expecting this market to continue being to the upside. This is just momentum area. As we can see, a good example here in late 2014, early 2015, before the actual highs, all this was when the RSI was above 69.1. So pretty much you can see that one needed to be positioned to the long side and especially as if you can find ideas in the financial space if they are among the leadership sector. But as long as the bank Nifty was holding above 69.1, you can expect the market to continue being sideways at the very worst, bullish at best. And we can also see that this is also reinforced by the idea that, that the bank Nifty continues trading above 69.1, something it's done for a couple of weeks. Most recently re-entered here about, let's call it four or five weeks ago. And since then we see the market continuing to trade favorably to the upside. And don't forget pullbacks are very shallow as long as we are holding above that 69.1 threshold and now we can see that over the last two weeks the nifty itself has jumped above 69.1 again here what we can actually just look at this and it's very simple as long as the market is above 69.1 it's a sideways market to bullish which means you can still be playing traders can be still be playing breakout ideas as long as the market is sideways to bullish. You don't need the market to be in an outright bull market for momentum ideas to work. All you need is a stable market. Even shallow pullbacks are okay. So that's the environment that generates the type of ideas we are looking for, which are breakout ideas. All we need is a stable market. Right now, the market holding above 69.1 is a market that one can continue looking for ideas to the upside. And let's also watch the monthly because we are getting very close to the nifty also moving above 69.1 so if the nifty can move back above 69.1 that's definitely another confirmation of upside momentum month to month if the nifty cannot hold above 69.1 that might turn into a reason to start avoiding being aggressive but for now just as we saw and let's take a look here at about five years of monthly data. And we can see this nice run up where on hindsight, we know that one needed to be long or playing the market long, long ways during this nice jump. All that period coincides with the RSI on the monthly holding above 69.1. And so here we have the possibility of the same situation if the market can sustain levels above 69.1. Failure for the Nifty to hold above 69.1, as we discussed, suggests that it is running out of momentum. Now, here is where I talk about the quality of the breakout in the Nifty, and the quality is missing. We need the MACDs to be trading at three-year highs. Here it's not. We need the MACDs to be trading at three-year highs if this to be a, to be a strong bull market. And here we can see it is not. So net net, yes, as long as the weekly for the nifty is above 69.1, we can still expect the market to be bullish. But here we have a problem with the setup right now. The MACDs are not confirming the quality of a good breakout. At the same, st at the same instant, as long as the monthly is above 69.1, that is still a market that is stable all we need is a stable market to bullish stable is fine because even momentum ideas work very well in stable markets or sideways market otherwise the environment here is that does dictate that traders continue looking for long side ideas until the market moves back below that 69.1 threshold oh and before i sign off here we can see that day to day, the bank Nifty is also now back above the 69.1 threshold. And also one thing here you can note is what looked like was negative divergence has been cleared. In other words, the market has now moved above the negative divergence line, which means now it is free to continue trading higher 
and we can see that the bank nifty has been holding above the 69.1 threshold on the daily since about late april and we can see that as long as it's holding above 69.1 this is exactly what happens markets tend to be strong pullbacks are very shallow before the market resumes new highs so as long as the daily is also pushing above 69.1 for either the bank nifty or the nifty itself markets should be sideways at the very worst bullish at best eric mother as always good luck peace and blessings